guys, so today we're going to be doing my very favorite thing to do every single month, which is setting up the budget planner for the next month. So it is the last week of February, and we're going to be setting up the budget planner for the month of March. And my husband and I have already had our budget meeting, so basically what I'm going to do is transfer everything that we talked about into the budget planner because this is our primary method of budgeting. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. And of course, I'm going to be super thorough and explain all changes to you guys. And yeah, um, if you're interested in seeing this video, then please keep watching. All right, so first things first, I am using the Spend Well Happy Planner Budget Edition. I got this at Hobby Lobby on sale for like $12. You can probably get one at Hobby Lobby too. If not, check Michael's and I will link um, this planner down below in the description box. So the first thing that I like to do is set up this monthly spread. So you guys know that I have a new budget kit. So I'm going to be using this. This is a collaboration with Etsy Shop iArtisan. So we worked on this at like the end of December. She sent it out in sometime in January and then I got it in February and I wasn't able to use it because I had already set up this planner for February so I can use it today and I'm super excited. So you guys know that I like to pretty much just put down payday stickers, bill due stickers, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be using both of these to fill out this sheet. And I do have the budget sticker book that I purchased from Michaels, also created by the Happy Planner. And I may use this if I need to. I'm going to try to just stick to this because usually I'm all over the place and people ask me where I, I've gotten my stickers from and I either don't know or I've used like way too many to even try to write it all out. And anyway, so I'm just going to try to stick to these two. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the setup. Well, I can't lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with this. This is super cute. So let's just make our way from the left to the right. So I had these little sticky notes down that I pretty much put down in at some point in February and I was kind of just putting like, you know, little to do's and such that relate to our finances that we needed to take care of for the month of March. And I just did away with those and replaced um, them with these little asterisk stickers from this page. Well, you can't really see it right here. So that's what we have going on here. So I have a work trip and all kind of other little to do's here. This sticker came from the budget sticker book. And then I have budget check in and budget meeting. And I kind of just went, actually, let's test these stickers and see how they pull up. Oh, I don't want to. Actually, we're not going to test that because that is going to put a dent in the page and then I'll be more bothered by that than if it actually ripped up some of the page. So we're going to leave that alone. So anyway, I have bill due stickers down and then these payday stickers, which are taking up like all of the space. But I don't know if I'm going to write the amounts in here because I don't know. I haven't done that in a while. I may come back and write the amounts. I don't know the amounts of every single one of them right now. But um, because our income is variable, so we kind of just get paid whatever we get paid and then we just put it in here. But I don't know if I'm going to come back and write the amounts in. I guess that would be kind of wise to do that. But anyway, this is what we have going on. The, this is kind of like what the spread looks like. I don't really, you know, like to talk much about really what the bills mean and all of that because I talk about that in the next segment of this. But this is what the monthly spread looks like. And just AK, not AK, FYI. These are um, not reminders to pay bills because our bills are on auto pay. These are reminders that bills will come out of our account on these days or around that time. So that's what that's for. But I love doing this. This makes me so happy. So this is what March looks like. And now we are going to flip to this page. Actually, I don't know if you guys actually saw this that well. So let me just zoom you in so you can see it in all of its glory. And I did end up using my bill due cheat sheet, of course. But let me just show you this and what it looks like. Because I don't know if you can see it all that well. Okay, now we are going to fill out the monthly budget and I'm gonna fill out every single part of our budget and then I will come back and share with you guys every single part of our budget and what every single thing means. Okay, so this is what this page looks like. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in and walk you through the entire budget like I do every single month. So 
So let's start from the top. So the starting balance, this pretty much means rollover to me. I know that can get kind of confusing, especially with the way that we budget, but for the most part, this means rollover. So we do not need to roll over any money into the month of March because we get paid on March the 1st. That's why the starting balance will technically be zero. Even though we will get paid on March the 1st, I still consider that to be zero because I consider this to technically be the rollover amount. Monthly income, I, I just told you guys that we were going to do 5500 to be safe every single month, but that would be silly because we get paid an extra time in the month of March. So we're going to do 7500 for the minimum amount. We have variable income, so we don't really know how much we're going to make from month to month. So we're just going to go with budgeting. For budgeting purposes, we're going to go with this amount for the month of March. And so I actually took this sticker from the monthly budget kit and place that over top of this which was a savings tracker so if you didn't see this last month or if you don't have this planner it looked like this so that is what it looked like and I just put that um, debt sticker over top here so I'm gonna put the starting balance for my husband's student loans and then each time that we make a payment which this is pretty accurate because we make a payment like every week and a half or something like that so I will accommodate for that here and put the amount and then I'll put how much we pay total towards the student loans so that's what we have going on here over here we have the bills and fixed expenses let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more I can't so let's just go through these Rent and water, we live in Georgia, low cost of living. Our rent and water is $570. Our cable and internet is $104.97. Our electricity, um, the app tells us it's going to be anywhere from like 60 to 80 so we're going to budget for $100, and then we don't have the due date. We'll get that on like the 3rd of the month, but we do know that the due date will be somewhere around the 15th of the month, so I'll put that in at a later date. Our phones, we have AT&T prepaid. We pay $75.75 every single month. Personal trainer, this has gone down $100 because my first six months have come and gone. So now, um, the last six months, I'll pay $140 unless I want to increase it or something like that. I can very well do that. But for right now, it's going to be $140. Gym, that is for the both of us to go to the gym, $19.99. Dentist, I know you guys see this every single month, but I, I think I'm finished for like out of the ordinary dentist visits aka non like cleaning visits for a pretty good while but I do need one filling or I don't even know if that's like the proper terminology but I have to get that done and um, my portion will be $80. Car insurance we will pay zero dollars towards car insurance in March because we're paid up for like we pay the premium in full in like December so we won't pay car insurance again until June. Life insurance is $42.19 every single month. We could pay that in full every year. I see no incentive to do that because we won't save any money. Renter insurance, I did go ahead and pay that premium in full this month so we won't have to pay that again until May and when May comes I'll pay that in full in May if I don't find a cheaper. I don't really like paying insurance premiums in full really like I get not that's not I guess really what I'm getting at I don't really I don't know because I'm always looking for new like looking at different quotes and trying to get cheaper stuff so I don't really like to pay stuff up that much if that makes sense so before I pay the new renter insurance policy in May I'm gonna look and see if I can find something cheaper basically is what I'm saying Minimum payment for my student loans, $100.28. Minimum payment for my husband's student loans, $304.69. Variable expenses, Shea allowance. I'm not taking an allowance for March. I see no reason to as of right now. My husband will take his $100. Um, haircuts for my husband, $15. Donations and gifts, one birthday, and then I want to do a giveaway, of course, so I'm budgeting $50. Toiletries, that's for deodorant, paper towels, all of that stuff, $25. We are going on a cruise in May. We have to pay the cruise off in March. Um, and the cruise was booked before we started budgeting. Obviously, we could choose not to go, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go. So um, we need to pay that off at $752.50. Gas for our cars. We're budgeting $150 this month, which is higher than usual. But that's because I have a work trip or work training. They will reimburse me all of the costs 
after I get back, but I have to cover them up front. Groceries, we're going to do $200 as we do every month. Restaurants and dates, again, I have a work trip. And then we have our regular restaurant visits and dates and whatnot. So we're budgeting $200 for that. Miscellaneous, $50 per usual. And then for our debt snowball, I actually made a one little mistake. Our debt snowball isn't going to be this amount. It is going to be this amount minus the $304.69 for my husband's minimum payment for his student loans. Because I have this... Um, in every dollar and so what I do is I just combine these two because our debt snowball is kind of like rolled into this because that's the debt that we're attacking so that is a mistake that I made I really didn't really have to put well I could just mark this out but it doesn't really matter I know how it reads but because of that this doesn't equal 7500 this equals 7500 minus 30469 but either way you know, I was aiming to do an every dollar budget and I do have an every dollar budget. It just doesn't reflect that on this sheet because I made a mistake. So our income and our incoming and our outgoing is the same amount because we do an every dollar budget and we give every dollar a name. For our goals for next month, I hate this section. I should probably get a sticker made, but um, in the meantime, I do just put some stuff here just to fill in the space. Increase income, decrease expenses, pay off debt. Ending balance, this will be what's left in our account at the end of March, which is um, going to be something because we have to roll over money um, for the month of April. So now what I'm going to do is um, just set up these last two pages. So here I've been tracking like miscellaneous expenses or just expenses that don't really like kind of like irregular expenses, like expenses that are outside of our weekly expenses and the reason why I've been doing that is because I feel that like whenever this year is over and this book is finished and I'm starting in my new budget planner whichever planner that will be I can always kind of reference this to kind of see what expenses we had for that month that's kind of like what my goal is here I don't really know how it will work out but that's what I'm gonna do here and really I'm just gonna put down this little flag sticker and write down miscellaneous expenses on it um, probably nothing too major yeah we'll just do that I'm gonna need a marker a permanent marker for that but what kind of marker do I want a thin marker or a thick marker let's try this one Miss Miscellaneous. Okay. Now I'm going to fill out this bill pay checklist. It is um, kind of redundant and I say that every single month, but I'm going to fill it out anyway. So I'm going to use this as a cheat sheet probably. Well, I'll use this as a cheat sheet. Alrighty, so one last thing to do because I don't need to set up for the first month of March just I mean the first week of March so eventually I will kind of use this you guys know I like to use the weekly but I don't really need to do that right now so one last thing that I'm going to do is actually create my budget review sheet and so I think I'm going to put the weekly budget review on the front and then the monthly on the back or vice versa so I'm gonna make another sheet that pretty much looks like this so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and that'll be all that we're gonna do for this particular video alright so here's this sheet that I whipped together and I actually didn't do the weekly budget review because I think I'm gonna start doing it on here and just make different sections for the week or I think I may start doing more like a mid-month budget review as opposed to a weekly one. So, yeah, so this is what I created. So this is kind of like a monthly slash weekly budget review sheet. So this is the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.